Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report with a quick review of the Streamlight Flipmate LED rechargeable work light. This is Jack Lawman, retired New York police, and you're watching Gear Report. Folks, if you're like me, you're used to a traditional flashlight, right? Something that looks like this. It's uh, got a long cylindrical handle, a button, a lens at one end, you point it at something. Ooh, that's bright. What we have here is a little bit different. Streamlight has recently come out with this new light they call the Flipmate. You'll see two different rows of LEDs here that produce different colors. One's a cool white, the other's a little bit warmer. These will put out anywhere from 200 to 500 lumens, depending on which setting you have it on. What's really neat about this is, uh, well, there are a couple things about how you can use it. It's a bizarre form factor. I initially looked at and thought, this is ridiculous. Who, who carries a flashlight that looks like this? Where it's very useful though is, uh, well first let's turn it on see what it looks like. Alright, so we've got one setting here. When it is turned on, if I cover that up, can you see the little green showing through here? That is uh, how you can tell the battery health while it's running. If it turns yellow or turns red, then we know the battery is getting low or lower that again to turn it off. On the other side, I said it's USB rechargeable. We have a micro USB here. It's pretty simple in that regard. One button, one charging port. Here's where things get a little bit more complex. It turns all the way up and around. So what's that? About 270 degrees of motion so that you can have it sitting pointing down at something. Where I use this kind of configuration the most is working on a car or I'll set it on the side of the gas grill so it's overlooking the food. Maybe have it set up about like this and it's an absolutely phenomenal way to light the work area and how that works without it tipping over, especially if it's like this with the weight out on the side is there's a magnetic base here. So it will stick itself to something. Say you have a survival hawk and you want to stick your light to it. There you go. Bam. Look at that. It's a crazy strong magnet on here. I really like that. I don't think I'd throw it like that though. Let's look at the settings that we have for brightness. Alright, so we have one turns it on. That makes it a little dimmer and off. So we have a high and a low and an off. Let's turn it back on and hold. And then we change from the cool white to the warmer white. High, low, off. We'll hold and it changes back. So that's it. We have five modes off, cool, and warm, high, and low. That's it. Pretty simple light. Oh, you know, there's one more thing I didn't talk about. Maybe you have it sitting like this. There's actually a little hook that you can hang it from and it's spin it around whichever direction you like. I think that you'll be surprised if you use a light like this that it looks kind of bizarre and maybe different than what you're used to. But when you actually get out there and start using it, you'll find that you reach for this type of light more often than you reach for any other kind of light because it's so easy to just stick it somewhere and then direct the light to wherever you want it to be and you don't have to keep your hands on it or do anything like that. Dimensions, we have a little bit over four and a half inches or if you open it up it's just about eight inches, just under. The weight is 8.7 ounces. You can get it in red, blue, or black. It's got a lithium ion battery in it which will give you between two and a half to six hours of use. If you have any questions about the Streamlight Flipmate, leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. You can also go check out the full review on gearreport.com. That's gear-report.com. Quick thanks to all of our patrons. Your support helps us bring more unbiased, hands-on reviews just like this one. If you like this review, if you got value out of it, please hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to Gear Report while you're here. It'd mean a lot to me. So, so thank you in advance. Until next time, we'll see you at the range. Thank you.